Hello. In this problem, we have a copper block that is exchanging heat 10 kilowatt from a source at 1000 Kelvin. So suppose this is our 1000 Kelvin source and it's receiving 10 kilowatt here and 5 kilowatt from a source at 500 Kelvin. It loses heat to atmosphere at 300 Kelvin. So let's say this is our 300 Kelvin atmosphere. And we don't know how much. Let's call this Q dot loss or Q dot atmosphere. Assuming the block to be at steady state. Okay, so let's draw a boundary around the block. Notice I draw the boundary around the block passing through the reservoirs so that I can capture all kinds of irreversibility. That's called the system's universe. That is, it includes not only the system, but the immediate surroundings. So we have to find the net rate of heat transfer, that is Q dot, which is the sum of all these three, uh, and the entropy generation rate. And also an important piece of information is provided, the system is at steady state. So that simplifies the problem quite a bit. So let's first do an energy analysis. We write the energy equation dE dt equals, we know that, that there is no mass going in and out, so we are going to throw these terms away anyway, but I'm writing them nevertheless. So this is the most general energy equation. There is no mass transfer, because it's a closed system and it's at steady state, so the snapshot of the system, the picture of the system doesn't change with time, so capital E, which is the stored energy of the system, cannot change with time if the system is steady. Imagine if dE dt is positive, the stored energy will keep increasing with time. That means obviously the system will get hotter and hotter with time. In, in that case, it cannot be steady. Steady means the system doesn't change with time. Any, any location that's hot will always remain hot. Any location that's cold will always remain cold. Overall, the system stay put in its initial state. So if we expand this equation, what does Q dot become? We know what goes in is positive when hip. So we use the convention when hip. Heat in negative, heat in, sorry, work in negative, heat in positive. So heat is going in 5 kilowatt another 10 kilowatt and this is atmospheric heat is coming out so this this must be a positive quantity absolute amount uh, and there is no work at all so this term goes away no external work so this is very simple q dot atmosphere turns out to be simply 15 kilowatt but the question says determine the net heat transfer Q dot. So what is Q dot? Is 5 plus 10 minus 15 equals 0 kilowatt. Which is kind of obvious from the energy equation. Take a look at that. Uh, 0 equals 0 plus 0 minus 0. So this must be 0. But nevertheless, now we know Q atmosphere. And the next question is find the rate of entropy generation. So we write the entropy equation for a steady system steady closed system again the mass transfer or the transport terms are going to be immediately eliminated so this is the entropy equation that tracks the entropy of the system which doesn't change with time because it's steady state as we have already described or explained steady state means none of the total properties will change with time. The mass, energy, entropy they will all remain constant because the picture isn't changing with time. We also throw away the mass transfer terms, the transport terms. So the equation simplifies 0 equals Q dot over TB. Let's expand it. Q dot over TB means entropy carried by heat into the system. We see 5 kilowatt is going in at 500 Kelvin, 10 kilowatt at 1000 Kelvin, and 15 kilowatt is coming out at 300 Kelvin. So if I can remember these numbers, it will be 5 
divided by 500 it'll be 10 divided by uh, it'll be 10 divided by 1000 and 15 divided by 300 notice that is negative because the 15 kilowatt is coming out of the system so it is taking entropy out with it solving this we get the entropy generation of the universe it's a very simple problem it turns out to be if you do the math is 0.03 kilowatt per kelvin as you can see each term must have the same unit q dot has an unit of kilowatt tb must be in kelvin temperature must be in kelvin so this is our answered that this is the entropy that is generated in this problem because of heat transfer and what is the entropy generation rate it is the rate at which the system is there's thermodynamic friction in the system in other words as we know thermodynamic friction means some kind of difference is getting dissipated so nature is trying to equalize the temperature here the temperature is thousand here is 500 inside must be cooler than that who knows maybe you know it might temperature might be changing from uh, it could be variable temperature inside but the fact of the matter is heat is flowing in here and here coming out and nature is trying to destroy the temperature difference as a result entropy is generated and the amount signifies the degree of uh, friction again uh, we'll solve a plenty we'll solve plenty of problem like this uh, in, in in other chapters.